starting your car from your Apple Watch, sensors that detect passenger stress levels, and VR headsets that can keep you from getting car sick, these are just three features that the Apple Car could have. Today, what you need to know about the Apple Car and five patents for high-tech features that might make it into the Apple Car. If you want to be in the know, be sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Hey there, Dave here. We all know the auto industry is being disrupted. Some governments already planning to ban the production of gasoline vehicles over the next 10 years. Traditional automakers are panicked right now. They're trying to find a way to pivot to electric. Some are not going to make it and Apple is getting ready to jump in and grab that market share. Before we jump in any further, I do have a favor to ask. Take a second and uh, jump on that like button. For over seven years, Apple employees across the US, Germany, and China have been secretly working on Project Titan. That is Apple's self-driving electric car. It's yet to be announced, but Apple is positioning the car as a direct competitor to other EVs like Tesla. Even Elon Musk said that it's pretty hard to hide something if you hire over a thousand engineers to do it. The Apple car could be Apple's worst kept secret, but if the project is successful, it could re-cement Apple as the world's most innovative company and add another trillion dollars to its valuation. Rumors say that Apple has already met with manufacturers like BMW, Hyundai, Nissan, and Volkswagen about a potential partnership. This means Apple is almost production ready, with analysts estimating that the Apple car could launch sometime between 2024 and 2027. For years, all we had to go on were rumors, but now patent filings and public road tests have brought the Apple car out of the shadows. DMV records show that Apple has been testing its self-driving system on public roads since 2017. Today, Apple has a fleet of self-driving cars that could number in the hundreds. California drivers have even spotted Apple employees in Lexus SUVs decked out in LiDAR sensors. But as far as performance goes, Apple's system is still lagging behind the other self-driving companies on the road. This gives us all the more reason to believe that the Apple car is still at least five years out. But just like shrinking microprocessors led Apple to rethink smartphone design, self-driving tech is leading Apple to rethink conventional car design, from windows and seating to air conditioning and lighting. Since the beginning of Project Titan, Apple has won hundreds of patents for their vehicle technology. Today, we're gonna to dive into five groundbreaking features that the Apple car could have. Starting with personal driving profiles. What if you could talk to your vehicle and tell it exactly how you want to be driven? And no, I'm not talking about Herbie. Okay, so that's how you want to do it? Apple has patented a system that enables self-driving cars to give each passenger a personalized driving experience. Here's how it works. While passengers are on board, the car would monitor them and learn about their driving preferences. These observations are then saved as a comfort profile for each passenger. Every time a passenger re-enters the car, the system would use facial recognition to confirm their identity and adjust to their driving style. As the car is driving, it would then use this data to make everyone on board feel more comfortable. And based on their real-time feedback, the car could adjust its driving style and update their comfort profile. The car monitors a variety of signals to detect your stress levels, including your eyes, posture, gestures, body temperature, heartbeat, and even sweat. If the car detects that you're stressed, it could adjust itself to drive slower. Up next, dynamic climate control. I'm pretty sure all modern vehicles come with a climate control system. Passengers can manually control the air conditioning or heating by physically turning knobs or pushing buttons or touchscreens. But Apple's going a step beyond and fully automating vehicle climate control. So they're not solving a huge pain point here, but what they're doing is making the entire transportation experience more convenient. Today, you have to manually dial in your AC or heater settings and let the car run before it gets the temperature just right. The Apple car, on the other hand, might automatically set the climate temperature by reading the weather and your own body. Here's how. The climate control system uses sensors inside and outside of the vehicle to measure temperature data. This includes measuring the amount of sunlight hitting a window or connecting to passenger devices to get their user health data. All of this information is then combined to set the ideal climate inside of the car. So imagine you did a workout and you're heading back to your car. The car could combine data from your Apple Watch, the weather outside, and your personal preferences to automatically cool you off. Number three, VR systems and AR displays. In 2018, Apple filed a patent for a virtual reality system inside of a self-driving car. Now, you might think that the main purpose of this system is to keep passengers entertained, but in reality, it's meant to make the car safer 
and cheaper. Windshields are essential for driving. They give you a clear view of the environment outside, and they also protect you from road hazards. But why keep your eyes on the road if you're not driving? And as tough as laminated glass is, it can still be broken. Apple wants to eliminate windows <laughs> in more ways than one. But getting rid of windows actually makes the car more structurally secure and also saves on glass production costs. But who would want to be closed off in a dark metal box? This is where VR comes in. Instead of looking through a window, the virtual display would feed passengers video from the outside world or a simulated environment. But this introduces another problem. Have you ever felt nauseous while using your phone or other device inside of a car? Has using a VR headset made you feel uneasy? Well, Apple has one more thing for that too. Motion sickness happens when movements you see don't line up with what you feel. In Apple's VR system, the display matches the vehicle's movement. So you could strap on your headset and watch a movie or get some work done in a moving car and still feel fine. But if the car does end up having windows, Apple is also thinking of projecting images on the windshield. This has a bunch of use cases like displaying a set of commands, sending alerts about the road, signaling the car's driving path, and even taking FaceTime calls. Number four, vehicle gesture control. Hopping into your car after work and having it drive you home all by itself has always been the dream, but how do you communicate with your car when you want to do something spontaneous, like pulling over at 7-Eleven? Well, the guys over at Apple have developed a gesture control system for passengers to talk to their self-driving cars. The car would use an internal camera to match the passenger's gestures with a set of commands. Maybe something like accelerate, brake, and park. <laughs> But it doesn't have to stop there. To increase accuracy, the vehicle would also be able to guess what a passenger wants to do next using contextual information like the time of day, nearby stores, and the battery status. The patent also describes the use of swiping gestures to scroll through vehicle options. Nothing new there. And finally, number five, automated and wireless charging. EV owners today don't even need to leave their homes to charge their vehicles, but they still do have to plug it in manually. So Apple wants to automate this too. Now, you might not think this is such a big deal, but two reasons that it could be big for Apple. First, Apple is the king of convenience. Their customer attention is so high because they consistently make their products easier to use. And second, it's more than just a little convenient in certain situations, like if you're on the road and it's pouring down rain or freezing outside. Apple's passive charging system does not look anything like Tesla's scary robot arm, though. That really looks like the thing that jacks into the back of Neo's head in the Matrix. Right. All right. It's more of an exposed charging plug that the vehicle can back its port into. But even more ambitiously, Apple has also worked out a way to charge electric vehicles wirelessly. That's basically a bigger version of their wireless charger for Apple devices. The car would have to park itself over a charging pad on the ground that then transfers power to a receiver underneath the car. Those are the five patents that I wanted to talk about, but here are some bonus features that were just too cool to leave out of this video. Things like locking and unlocking your car and starting your engine with an iPhone or Apple Watch. A system that adjusts your window tint depending on how much light you want to let in or your desire for privacy. A smart seat belt that passengers can use to interact with the car's display system. An anti-glare system that protects eyes from strong headlights or sunlight. Hidden interfaces that you can activate with gestures or control car features like playing music and controlling the temperature. And of course, a LiDAR system that can detect moving objects in the dark. <laughs> Don't tell Elon Musk, he's still working out a system for that. So do you think the Apple car will live up to the hype whenever it is finally released? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Also, let me know what feature you're most excited about. I, of course, am still waiting for my Cybertruck, but I will be placing a pre-order for an Apple car as soon as they let me. There you have it. I hope you learned a thing or two about the Apple car and all the crazy stuff they've been working on. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, do all the things. That is the latest from here. I'm Dave Hansen. I will see you back there for the next Hey There Dave here.